All right, now I mentioned about installing the power supply onto the chassis. Now you're not going to be able to install everything with your hands. You're going to need some tools. Don't be afraid to go into your daddy's toolbox. Make sure you get permission first. Get permission from daddy first or by your own. Uh, but make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver so that you can screw the screws. That what she said. I'm too dirty. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you have a ample tool case, toolbox, a toolbox, or a couple tools, uh, so that you can work it. You know, work it. Now the first thing I uh, noticed when I opened up my uh, case, you get these little screws, what they're called is thumb screws, they're called thumb screws because you can uh, unscrew them with your fingers. You don't need to have a Phillips screwdriver as imposed by the hex. You can unscrew it because it has little little threads that you can just screw with your hands like this just screw them tight don't overdo it uh, you don't need to be on there super tight or anything like that just make sure it's on uh, but yeah these are thumb screws just screw them on you'll see them okay alright so once you open up the uh, one of the doors on your motherboard uh, what you're going to notice is uh, there may be a pre-installed little bracket for the CPU. Now those are pretty standard. You can't use those for most boards. They used to work a long time ago when motherboards were a lot more standard form factor wise. But now they come a little bit different these days. So uh, what you're going to need to do is open up your motherboard and you're going to get one of these. You must install this onto your chassis otherwise you are not gonna fit and what did OJ's lawyer said if the glove don't fit you must acquit another tip you want to consider when you build a computer make sure you ground yourself hold something metal to ensure that any static electricity does not file through your body because if you fry your board baby I feel sorry for you so ground yourself hold on to something metal get all the electricity do not drag your feet on the carpet if you have carpet don't drag your feet don't do anything crazy uh, of course I'm gonna take off the sweater so no static electricity will come past me or anything crazy this hat anything could happen so no static electricity now once you uh, open up your power supply or not open it do not open your power supply unit this do not open this but what I meant is when you open the box make sure you take note of what's in there now there's these little rubber thingamajigs I've never seen these before but it's a good thing to always read the directions always read the directions the dumb one is the one that doesn't read the directions read remember read in school read learn how to read read your instructions again if I see some dumbass and doesn't read the directions if I ask you did you read the directions if you say no I'm gonna do right at you because you didn't read the directions. So even if you are experienced, you still hold on to the instructions because you never know. You might need these. Never seen them before, but what the hell? Why we're on the topic of power? Another nice gift that you may want to have. For your Hackintosh is a backup surge protector battery, battery surge protector, whatever you want to call it, because after you spent so much money 
you want to protect your investment trust me I live in Florida when it starts lightning I panic oh man oh man I have fried countless computers and other miscellaneous electronics by not having the surge protector uh, invest in one you'll need it it's like wearing a condom when you have sex you don't know if that bitch is clean but power you always want to protect your investment because if that went tsh, lord have mercy you never know when it goes out on your, your hardcore gaming and all of a sudden black out like that hit yourself in the face Ooh. all right so this is the power supply unit I guess those rubber things were to dampen it or something uh, make sure that you do put them on there correctly and make sure the little little studs go into the holes that's what she said and um, just put it in your case put the cords inward toward the case not outward but inward because you need this the power and you need the modulators on the inside alright guys so uh, check this out so I'm still working on the chassis and this bad boy got wheels so if you got wheels let's ride vroom, vroom, vroom. alright guys the next thing that uh, is very important on installing a motherboard into the chassis is uh, you'll get these little golden golden plated screws uh, which they are called risers they look like this not sure if you can see that real well uh, but they are gold plated they, ha they have a little hex on them you have to install these onto your chassis if you don't install this onto the chassis when you try to screw in your motherboard it's not going to screw down unless the case already has pre-mounted risers on there now I have seen some cases that do have it not all of them do have it, some do, some don't, uh, but check your motherboard. First see if you have any gold plated risers first and uh, make sure you screw them in accordance to your motherboard. They screw in a certain place, if there's not a screw it's not going to go in right. It sits right down like a puzzle. Like there's certain holes that it needs to like gap onto. If it's not there it's not going to screw right. Again that's what she said. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, Schematic Wayne. Uh, yeah, we're down here this time. Um, <clears throat> I've just uh, installed the motherboard into the chassis here of the Cooler Master. Uh, as you see, this is a really big chassis. Um, something to note here, uh, if you are using this uh, Cooler Master uh, HAF chassis, uh, you will see at the bottom that it tells you which form factor you're using for the golden plated studs that you need to screw in. You can screw in with your thumbs. Um, it is alphabetized. Uh, one thing you want to keep note is G. G is not listed on here, but you need to screw that in. Uh, they, they were off by one, but at least they helped with most of it. But uh, nothing's been installed. This is just the motherboard. Um, of course you need to remove this uh, I don't know if I can zoom at this level we'll see probably not I don't know how to do that oh I have a tongue ring uh, but yeah there's this let me see if I can zoom in maybe maybe not uh, oh I'm not a camera person <laughs> But um, this little yellow thing right here, uh, you need to remove that because that's where your processor will go. Um, there's your slots right here for your memory, blue and white. And then, of course, you have your PCI Express slots. And then miscellaneous uh, case stuff, you know. And then this fan is 
the fan that I have for this processor is humongous. We're going to have to see what's going to happen with that. Uh, I think I'm going to put my memory in first and then try to install the cooler. Maybe. But we'll see.